everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am so glad that you guys came over today to see this new cleaning video. I really had a ton of cleaning to do and I got some done, I guess you could say, um, but I did not get everything done. And I think that it's important to note that whatever we do get done is just important in life. As you can tell, I'm just showing you kind of like an overview and there was just stuff everywhere it just seemed like and I looked around my house and I felt super overwhelmed and I didn't know what to do so interestingly enough my husband actually started filming and I was kind of getting ready taking a shower things like that and he was doing the dishes and he had set up the camera and I was like oh my gosh thank you so much um, and so he ended up loading the dishwasher. I needed to load the dishwasher twice because if you guys have watched my last couple of videos, uh, for some reason this is just a theme going on with me in this season of life. And I have since uh, been trying to catch up. And so I have been having to like run my dishwasher twice instead of once. And I thought I was kind of caught up, but then I wasn't. So I should be caught up by the time this video is actually going up live. But you know, I'm not going to beat myself up about it like I usually would have done in the past and um, just make myself feel bad for the fact of, I don't know, I'm not a robot and I can't do everything, <laughs> which I thought for years that I could. So I was just helpful that I came out from um, taking a shower and blow drying my hair and he had loaded the dishwasher and put all the dishes away. And I think sometimes in our life, we just need to be happy for whatever it is God gives us. And on this particular day, I think that my husband knew that I was a little bit overwhelmed because it just seemed like there was a lot of things to do. And he just jumped right in and started kind of loading everything up. And to be honest, I think he does a better job um, actually pre-doing the dishes or pre-washing the dishes um, than I do. A lot of times I think it's just repetition after so many years. I kind of just rinse everything off and throw it in there and um, usually he actually like scrubs it and washes it really well which some things I do some things I don't and I'm sure you all can feel me on that point thank you guys again for coming over and hanging out with us um, I really do appreciate it we've been trying to get back in the groove of things if you haven't seen my last grocery haul I was telling you all that interestingly enough I was um, out of the country actually and I took my son with me and we did some volunteer work at a children's home and so we have been trying to kind of get back in the groove of things and get things washed and all that stuff when you come back from being gone anywhere in life you know how that is so this was um, Kind of like us trying to get caught back up on lots of things in life, including like dishes and laundry and all that fun stuff. I wanted to share this really quick insight. As I was watching this, it was so funny because I was watching him load the dishwasher thinking like, you're doing it all wrong, which I guess we always tell our husbands. I have no idea. We shouldn't, but we do. And a part of me, I feel like would have hated this years and years ago. And I feel feel interestingly enough that I've grown a lot as a person where I can like legit look at this and just appreciate the work he's done and not criticize it because I know for so long you know we want things done the way we want things and we end up criticizing our husbands or whoever is helping us and really what we should be doing is just being thankful like it really doesn't matter how the work gets done as long as it gets done. So I just wanted to throw that little point in there because it really just occurred to me as I was watching him. So here I am um, kind of doing laundry. I have been getting caught up on the laundry. I actually did unpack the day we got home, which was good. Um, but for some reason I had like other laundry to do and I've been trying to get caught up. So a long time ago, I actually did a load of laundry a day and that worked really, really good. And so I'm trying to kind of stay on top of it where I don't have any more than one load per day and um, I can even go maybe a couple of days without a load of laundry. I really don't mind doing the laundry and putting it away, but I do like having everything kind of like put in its place and things like that. So 
here I am just getting caught up on some towels because we had company staying at our house actually while I was gone. And so of course I wanted to get caught back up on towels and things like that. And then you will see my coveted never before seen master bedroom. I don't know why I have never showed it. It was kind of more of like a privacy thing for myself. And I was like, this is not a big deal. Like just show it. So usually I try to um, get everything put away as soon as I fold it because otherwise it will stay in that basket for God knows how long. And so that is kind of my routine and I try to go around and pick up whatever is on the floor like these shoes every day because otherwise they'll just pile up and pile up. And yeah, that's my master bedroom. So this quilt is something I actually got out of the country and I really wanted it because I wanted it to um, really support the local person I bought it from but actually to bring like some color to my living room and it has been drying in my kitchen for way too long but that's okay and so as soon as I got everything kind of put away that was really good and kind of put everything back to normal I do need to take down this science stuff but I have not gotten to that yet and while I was doing all of this Ryan was actually reading to me and it was so cute I just wanted to like capture that memory somewhere in life so I wanted to show you guys as well um, I actually end up vacuuming my master bedroom probably a couple times a week um, not like every day or anything but a couple times a week the carpet in this house is really hard to vacuum it looks really good and like well maintained but um, it doesn't like move very well I guess you could say so it's really hard to vacuum and so I only vacuum probably uh, maybe twice a week I would say and usually um, I vacuum like the hardwood floors almost every day so that is something that is kind of weird but it's just because the, the carpet is kind of hard to vacuum in here and I'm sure it's just you know kind of a fluke thing but I do feel so much more refreshed when everything is vacuumed. My husband actually uses this chair in our spare room all the time so I'm always pulling it back into our master bedroom. It is my great grandmother's chair and um, I always pull it back in there because I just like editing in it and I like it being in our room. So it's so funny we kind of have this like chair war back and forth because he really likes to sit in it too even though it's like probably a hundred year old chair. Interestingly enough it is in wonderful condition and shape. So I kind of have moved on to my living room and y'all I just had to get everything um, picked up and um, cleaned and things like that. And this was a blanket that my son got when we were out of the country and most of the stuff actually in here was his and so once I got everything picked up I really wanted to go through and dust because you all know how I like my dusting and so I just used my Enviro cloth um, from Norwax and so it's really easy you just clean with water usually when I dust I just um, get about half of it wet and the other half I keep dry in case I need it and that works really really well for me and on this particular day I just got so much dusting done. I think I dusted my entire living room and it just made me feel so good. I know everybody has their pet peeves, but what is yours? Like, what's your one thing that you always do regardless? My mantle actually really, you could tell, needed dusting, um, but my tables weren't too, too bad, but my mantle was really, really bad. It was interesting. Um, it was just kind of like a very thin layer of like, oh my goodness. And so this is actually very typical, like I'm doing what I'm doing and Ryan just comes and talks to me and talks to me and talks to me and then he'll just fall down for no reason. And I just thought that was hilarious so I really wanted to like put it in the video <laughs> and I really didn't notice until I was editing. Um, but he actually sat there the whole time I was cleaning the living room and he was telling me about who knows what. But um, I just love it when he just talks and talks and talks to me anyway and I wonder where he gets that from. Look at I've been talking y'all's ear off. But I really just wanted to catch you up on everything. And so I felt so good kind of going through and getting my house really back to normal, getting everything vacuumed. Um, I love vacuuming my couch and things like that. I just love seeing the lines on there. And I love it when everything is just nice and fresh and cleaned. And so uh, this actually gave me tons of satisfaction. And we had actually been dog sitting um, for like a day or two. And for some reason, there was a lot of stuff on my back door. And so I really wanted to go through and get um, all that grass and stuff off of my hardwood. 
And so I just decided to keep going and kind of um, do my whole house and get that uh, vacuumed and that always makes me feel good. It doesn't, I don't even know why because you can't tell because of the type of hardwood we have, but it still just makes me feel so good. So now you can tell that I go through and I'm like fluffing everything, missing some pillows, not exactly sure where they were at the moment, come to find out they were in spare room. But I love the way this looked and even though this was actually a separate day and I had to do this the next day just because I got busy, I was so happy that it got done and I felt really, really good. Interestingly enough, my husband came home after this and he was like, whoa, it looks really nice. And that made it all worth it. Thank you guys so much for coming over and hanging out with me and I will see y'all in my next brand new video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye for now.